Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to Yaz Show. Today is a special video for the people of Gaza, Palestine, Lebanon, Syria, and Yemen. Let's get started. The first video. It sounds like you're defending what they do. No, I'm saying there is a complete difference between one of the most powerful armies in the world. Mm. Loki is seen here trying to explain the premise of Star Wars to Moral Quandary, who is perpetually lost in the source. You're talking about asymmetrical warfare, but you know the thing that Israel doesn't remember, and which Israel has to know and must know, mm. that winning a war is not about killing on an industrial scale the weakest among the population you are targeting, which mm. Israel excels at, which is the essence of Zionism. Yeah. Winning a war is about the largest amount of people being convinced of your viewpoint. If we use that metric to understand this war, Israel has lost in Gaza and it will lose in Lebanon because Israel has more enemies around the world than ever before. I'll tell you, I will give you a five years old analogy. Please. Palestine is like a fishbowl. A fishbowl. It's a lot of fish. It's condensed. There's like so much fish in so little air. And and Israel is like the person over that ball and just like crashing the ball, killing or taking the fish anytime. Because you talk about hostages, but we never talk about Palestinian hostages. There are like five, before October 7th, 5,000 Palestinian hostages in the prison of Israel. Now there's 12,000. Every single day, Israel can go in any house, take the house, burn the land, burn the olive oil, take the people, put them in. Isn't that hostage? That is a hostage situation that's been going on for years. But let's, so Israel can do anything with this fishbowl. At a certain point, Israel is just hovering over that fishbowl. And then at one moment, a fish crazy enough, suicidal enough, will jump from the ball through the air, bite the pinky of Israel. And Israel like, oh my God, that bitch bit my pinky. My hand was not even in the ball. And then she goes, and they go in and they destroy the ball. And all you can see is Israel pinky. You know what I call this? Tunnel vision. What do you stand for? Starvation? Mass Ethnic cleansing, genocide. Every human rights group in the world says your military is an abuser of human rights. I don't know how many human rights you yourself have right. personally abused. I don't know if you turned a blind eye to rape on your custody. I don't know if you killed children at cold blank, you know, at point blank range like Israeli snipers did to people carrying white flags. You can tell us today how many people you've killed, or babies killed, Jonathan. That is what you stand for. You serve the IDF, the Israeli military. You serve a military that has been credibly accused by the United Nations just last week by Israeli media, which showed videos of mass rape of Palestinian detainees. The New York Times this week reported that your military sent children, Palestinian children, as human shields into booby-trapped tunnels and buildings. Is that what you did, Jonathan? Can you tell us today? Did you ever send a Palestinian child as a human shield into a tunnel? Because the New York Times is saying your military did that. The World Food Program is saying your military is starving the people of northern Gaza. Did you starve people when you were in the military, Jonathan? Is you wouldn't have Hamas and you wouldn't have a problem if there was, uh, was no occupation. The taproot of the problem here is what the Israelis are doing to the Palestinians. Again, the Israelis are creating a greater Israel which includes the West Bank and Gaza. Mm. And in the process of creating that greater Israel, they have built an apartheid state. And you should expect the Palestinians who live in that apartheid state to resist mightily. And that's exactly what's happening. And unless there's some self-determination for the Palestinians, you're gonna have more and more uprisings in the future. You wanna remember what happened on October 7th was not the first instance of the Palestinians rising up. There was the first intifada in the late 1980s, there was the second intifada in 2000, and there'll be more intifadas, more October 7ths in the future, in large part because how the Israelis treat the Palestinians. If you take one side completely, just like you do in right. Ukraine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm consistent. I take the side of the Ukrainian people under occupation and the Palestinian people under occupation. I'm consistent. No, you're not. They're, to they're totally different well, situations. That's, you have to say that because you're not consistent. And you have to say what you say. No, but I literally described it. Two people's under foreign occupation, two people's having their hospitals bombed, two people's having their kids killed, mm. two people facing governments that say genocidal stuff. Yeah, mm. I'm consistent. One is a democracy and an ally of the Says West. You. And one is oh, not. Oh, ally of the West. Mm. What little slip in there? What's that got to do with anything? So allies of the West get to be genocidal. No. Why did you say ally of the West? Why I don't believe. Relevant? I don't believe what they're doing in. So Gaza. if Russia was an ally of no, the no, West, they could no. kill people in Ukraine. I don't believe what wow. they're doing in Gaza is genocide. You do. I don't. Well, genocide is the complete. Put genocide to one side. Whether, whether we agree or not on genocide, and it is genocide. Or it's not. Genocide. You just said they're your ally of the West. Why is that relevant? I think it's important. You support. So if you're an ally of the West, you get to kill kids. No. 
You get so why is it relevant? You support. You're making your, my point for me, Bill. I'm consistent. You I don't your, care whether you're an no, ally many, of the West many, or an enemy of the West. Fine. I care about what you do. Yes. And Russia and Israel both committing yes. war crimes, yes. both saying genocide. Yes, but stuff. Mehdi, here's my point. You are so blindly anti-Israel that you frame everything. I could say the same thing to you about Russia. I'm very blindly against Russia. OK, yes. that's a way, again, so are you're you, inconsistent. You I'm con exactly, I'm consistent. I'm blindly anti-occupying mm -hmm. Ru Russia that occupies Ukraine, mm -hmm. and I'm blindly anti in Israel. We came to the end of the video. Don't forget to pray for the people of Gaza, Palestine, Lebanon, Yemen, Syria, and Sudan. Assalamu alaikum.